Hi, this is Logan. I'm a solar applications engineer at Northern Arizona Wind and Sun. And today I'm going to be answering a question regarding battery backup on grid tie solar systems. So one question we get quite often for people who already have a grid tied solar system installed on their residence is how to incorporate battery backup. Um, so there's a few different ways that can be done. I think one of the more common methods is via AC coupling. So AC coupling is a system configuration that involves uh, an additional inverter and battery bank. So AC coupling is a method of adding battery backup to your grid tie system. Uh, and this involves a separate battery based inverter along with the battery bank itself. Uh, and you also have to create a critical loads panel uh, for all the uh, devices and appliances you wish to power from the batteries during a grid outage. So essentially the way an AC coupled system would be set up is you create this extra sub panel to contain all the critical loads you'd like to power during a grid outage. There's a separate battery based inverter. Uh, its output would also be connected to the sub panel. Uh, AC coupling does require that the existing grid tied portion of the system, uh, the output of that inverter must get connected to the same sub panel. And so now basically we have the battery based inverters output and the grid tie inverters output on a common bus or loads panel uh, and they're now coupled together, hence the term AC coupling. So in this configuration, when the grid is up, your system works pretty much as it normally did before the batteries in that your solar panels are producing power. Uh, those feed your grid tie inverter, which then covers the loads on your critical panel. Uh, from there, any excess production is gonna be used to help maintain the batteries. Uh, once the critical loads and the batteries are happy and you're still generating an excess of PV power, uh, now that would be uh, sent back to your mains load panel and would offset any loads there. And if you're still producing an excess of PV after your critical loads, your batteries, and your mains loads are satisfied, now you're finally back feeding to the grid. So basically the same type of uh, flow uh, as, as your grid tie system would have normally. Now when the grid goes down and you lose grid power, that mode of operation changes completely. So in that scenario, we're no longer feeding any of the loads on the mains panel. We're no longer selling any excess energy back to the grid. And now your system is contained to just the loads on your sub panel or critical loads panel. During a grid outage, the battery based inverter is still producing power given that it's connected to the batteries. So it's sending power to your critical loads panel. Now your grid tie inverter sees that uh, voltage and frequency from the battery inverter and it's almost tricked into thinking that the grid is still active. So in that way, the battery based inverter fools the grid tie inverter into thinking the grid's still up and that's how our solar array continues to produce and uh, cover your loads and maintain the batteries. Um, of course, without there being grid power at nighttime, uh, if the grid is still down, well, now you're uh, powering all of your critical loads off of the energy that was stored in the batteries during the day. So um, that's a, a brief overview of AC coupling and uh, one of the methods you can add battery backup to an existing grid tied solar system. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, Please like, subscribe, and comment.